the biggest news in Tagum City. Tagum wages war against drugs. New officials take oath. Vice Mayor Hementiza reports legislative updates. New buildings inaugurated for senior high school students. And Hugpong Serbisho raises beneficiaries by a staggering 74%. Hello, this is MJ De Castro. Get your news straight and fast only here in Tagum News Central. More than 4,000 drug-involved Tagumenos surrender in the launch of the city's intensified anti-illegal drugs campaign. In support of President Duterte's effort to eradicate drugs, the local government in coordination with the PNP launched the campaign not only to identify but also rehabilitate the drug users in the city. Siguro ito nag-connect-connect. Some nag-surrender, uh, nag, uh, nag sabi nila okay naman, maayos naman ang uh, pagtanggap sa ating city, sa PNP. And uh, we mentioned to them some intervention, uh, mga interventions na gagawin sa kanila. Unang-una, parang amnistia ito eh. So they will enroll in this program. Over the past week, PNP has conducted Oplan Tokang or Oplan Tok Tokangyo and Oplantapang or Oplantapokangyo in an effort to encourage more people to surrender. Mayor Elyon also coined the term TADS or Tagumenos against drugs to address the drug users, couriers, pushers, and dealers from the 23 barangays. The City Anti-Drug Abuse Council is expecting the number of TADS to increase in the following week. This is the biggest number of surrenderies within a city under the Duterte administration so far. Re-elected Mayor Alan Relion and Vice Mayor Heterito Hemetiza, together with the 7th City Council, took their oath last June 30 in the new Christ the King Cathedral. The said event was administered by Judge Arlene El Palabrica of the Regional Trial Court, assisted by City DILG Director Eliza Mendoza. The re-elected mayor referred to the Eagle Wings program pushed by his past administration and promised to continue his effort to keep up further development in the city. He also stressed the importance of working together with the Tagumenos themselves. As a team, we shall work even harder than anyone can think. We must pull together all our talents, all our knowledge skills, and all our resources to make our city achieve this lofty status as a city of people. Among the councillors who took oath were Councillor Eva Lorraine Estabilio, Councillor Agrippino Coquilio Jr., Councillor Macario Bermudez II, Councillor Ronald S. Elliot, Councillor John Dimitri Sator, Councillor Ray Cyril Alba, Councillor Tristan Roy Saala, Councillor Esther Angoy, Councillor Robert So, and Councillor Jose Judel Kaasi. In another news, Vice Mayor Hementiza delivered a legislative update from November of last year to June 2016 to highlight the achievements of the previous city council. Among the highlights were Ordinance Number no. 750, enacting the Tagum City Code on Public-Private Partnership. He also noted the establishment of Tagum City Federation of Senior Citizens Association by the Committee on Gender Equality and Development, Children and Family Welfare and Social Services, headed by Honorable Eva Estabilio, in the effort to set up a PIDEA satellite office in the city by Honorable Tristan Roy Saala, Chairman of the Committee on Peace, Order, and Public Safety. The previous City Council passed a total of 68 ordinances and 867 resolutions in their term. Vice Mayor Hementiza also assured the Tagumenos that the 7th City Council is ready to undertake a new challenge. Moving on, 68 new classrooms welcomed public school students last June 13. Four classroom buildings were opened in Busaon Elementary School, Kanokotan Campus of Tagum City National High School, Magdum Campus of La Filipina National High School, and Tagum City Trade School as well as two new gymnasiums in Libuganon Elementary School and Pipisan Maog National High School. The said building project was achieved through an 80 million peso school building project financed by a loan from the Development Bank of the Philippines. The new buildings are part of an effort to decongest public schools in the city and improve the learning environment of the students. 
More batches of classroom buildings are still under construction at the moment. Government and private institutions join hand in hand to offer social and health services to Tagumenos in the Hugbong Servicio Para sa Tagumenyo Festival on May 11 to June 10, 2016. Already on its third leg, the said festival benefited a total of 36,426 individuals, an outstanding 74% increase from last year's 20,931. The event hosted a half-day caravan in each of the city's 23 barangays, which included free services such as minor surgeries, therapeutic massage, optical services, legal consultation, agri-clinic, tabang skwela, and many more. And that's your dose of news. For more information about these events, you may visit our website at www.tagumcity.gov.ph or you may visit our other social media accounts, details of which are flashed on the screen. Until next time, I am MJ DeCastro, delivering news that matter, only here in Tagum News Central.